Welcome back, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host, Galadon. Today, more strange but true. I've got old, new, and bizarre. All right, so we're going to look at some old ones like this clan with a very suspicious 99.99 and trophies required to enter. Something happening there with those guys. Also, we're going to take a look at one shot. If you guys remember this guy, he holds the all-time record for the least number of Builder Hall trophies. And uh, so I thought I would check it out. This is current footage. So this is exactly how he looks right now. He's still negative 336. Uh, so unfortunately, this is kind of perhaps an indicator of the amount of effort being put into Builder Hall right now. Uh, we haven't seen any updates for Builder Hall at all. Maybe someday, someday a Builder Hall 9, but probably not soon. Next up, how about Town Hall 3 War? This guy has 124 War Stars. All-time best of 263 trophies, and he doesn't have any troops. He is a Town Hall 3 with no troops unlocked whatsoever. How does he do it? It's impossible. It's improbable. There's no possible Well, Okay, there is a possible way. Obviously, he has been winning a few attacks. How could he have done this if he wasn't selling everything, like, you know, early on in the game? And we'll get to that in just a moment. Well, the mystery is sort of explained when you go to his village. So we'll go ahead and scroll through his achievements, go and visit his village, and then we will see the obvious. No, not the wizards, but the clan castle. Remember, it is always possible to attack with a clan castle. He's got some wizards trained up, so you never know what is in there. And given that he is a Town Hall 3, they probably get some pretty low matches in war, and that is definitely how he has gotten those war stars. How he got the trophies, however, well, you never know. It could it could be selling buildings. Let's move on and talk about some other really strange stuff. Now, this is a clan that we wanted to look up, Bocarones. And look at the following. These guys have fans all over the place. There's all sorts of fan clans that have named themselves this same hashtag. Okay, so what is unusual about these guys? It doesn't look like it's that strange yet, but... As you scroll down, number 20, Eloy is the leader. Okay, he's the leader of the clan, which, you know, that's not unusual. You've got a leader. But check out number 36, Pinty, second leader. Also, this is something that has never been fixed by Supercell. I have no idea why. Now, also, I would love for you to keep sending me strange but true villages, but I've got enough Town Hall 1s under my belt to last a lifetime. It's not that strange. So, thank you. Strange but true. Eh, okay. Let's move on. This one, brand new, never seen before. Thanks to RH2 underscore donator on Instagram. Check this guy out. Mini Max. Now, this is definitely strange but true. 938 war stars. All-time best, 2233 with only level 1 barb archer giant goblin. But I honestly think the strangest thing here is how did he get... 122 stars on the goblin campaign map that is crazy look at look at the some of those goblin forts and tell me how you can get 122 stars that is pretty impressive okay moving on and we're checking in on some older players like steven z 19 from rogue agents gotta love this guy's village one of the older players in the game running with well okay he's got seasonal troops which is cool but these rocks, man. These rocks. I can remember when people were looking for these rocks all over the place, and he's got a bunch of them. They're all over his base, and of course he's got seasonal troops all over his base. Giant skeletons, pumpkin barbarians. Uh, I think he's got some uh, yeah, ice wizards and battle rams here as well. And another clear indicator that this guy has been playing for a long time. Look at the Christmas tree collection. I'm betting most of you have never seen at least one or maybe two of those Christmas trees at all okay next up is the player who is responsible for the genesis of the entire strange but true series that i've put together over the last i don't know a couple of years this is arl from the revenge clan and unfortunately his base is no longer strange but true but he was the first player that i ever featured and at the time had the truly strangest base anybody had ever seen now here it is it's abandoned i've gone back and looked at this base every couple of months 
just to check, just to see if maybe things had changed. But what we will do is I'll show you a clip of the original Strange But True episode where we look at AOL space for the very first time. And you can see back then the clan was kind of active. It was filling up. It filled up after the episode. But check out the base. I mean, come on. This, this is stranger than fiction right here. A Town Hall 5 and yeah. Okay, first of all, he's got things like level 8 cannons with a Town Hall 5. Is that impossible? Level 9 elixir storages. And it gets stranger, of course, as you look around. The uh, building's levels are all wrong. And yes. Ready? What is it? What is it? Is that? Yeah, that's right. That is that. It's a goblin pole. Of course it's a goblin pole. Obviously, some sort of placeholder, something that is supposed to be in the goblin maps, ended up in this player's base. The only explanation that I've ever been able to figure out is this must have been some sort of developer test account, and they had forgotten to clear it out. It ended up in the live game somehow, and I'll tell you right now, the cover-up is real. After I released this video, within about two weeks, this base changed to what we see now, okay? Without any explanation, nothing of any sort. And this is back when Supercell was having constant events in Helsinki, and I was flying out to Finland to host all sorts of events. And I even went to the Clash of Clans team and asked them, what is the story behind ARL? Do you know who he belonged to? Do you know what happened? And everybody over there denies any knowledge. They, they deny that they changed anything. They deny that they knew anything about this base. So I, to this day, I've always really held this in high regard as the strangest village of all time. Now we've got a few others that have been really strange and have been banned, but Ariel didn't get banned. He just got modified. So there you go. One last look at Ariel's cool base back in the day uh, before it was altered uh, artificially. Okay, let's go ahead and check out another one. This is Zamot. This is also an early one that I had looked at. Uh, he still is in the game. He has not been removed. Now, you'll notice his clan is completely inactive, which is a shame. Crimson Guard, he is the leader. His clan actually filled up after I showed him in an earlier episode of Strange But True, and he's got no storages. No storages to speak of whatsoever. How do you get to Town Hall 8? without ever having had an elixir storage or a gold storage and having a little baby level one gold mine and elixir collector. Well, the truth of the matter is he may have had storages early on in Clash of Clans. Like some people know, you could sell items back after you purchase them. Uh, that obviously has been since removed from the game, but every now and then you will find players that have been around for years and years, close to five to six years, who have strange things like this, and it has happened because they have sold stuff. Now, the same may be true of Lava 08. Aura of Mystery is the clan, and it is kind of mysterious how you get to Town Hall 9, and you don't have any troops ever. Uh, again, it's possible that he had sold things, and maybe when you sell barracks, then it locks the troops again so they don't show up. I don't know, uh, but pretty strange. That is, there is a bit of an aura of mystery around how this player could have gotten this far without having ever unlocked troops. But again, we don't know if they had sold the barracks. Does it make the troop unlock disappear? Probably. So let's just go with the explanation of selling buildings once again, uh, which in, again, is not that strange, but trust me, I've got strange. Do you guys remember this guy? 2016 bug glitch. Well, he has not been fixed either, which I thought was kind of unusual. Uh, he's got, well, if you look closely, you have to click on his wrecked stuff. And you'll notice there is a one by one cannon. Now that is the tiniest cannon in the game. That is a one by one cannon right there. Only one square does that cannon occupy. Uh, pretty much impossible. And we can't tell exactly what it looks like without seeing the resurrected village. And then also he's got a town castle or a clan hall, or maybe that's a clown hassle. Either way, there are buildings on top of each other, which also would explain what happened with a the cannon there. Definitely strange and definitely true. That is another player that you can look up on your own. Now, speaking of looking up on your own, you can't look this guy up anymore. Nope. R to the I to the P. This guy is gone 
forever. Now you may complain that he got banned because of my video, but honestly, do you really want to face this guy? Here we're going to look at him before he got banned. This was Falcon. And I'm sorry, but if I'm a lower level player and I'm working my way up, I don't want to come across a guy that's got Electro Dragons and Baby Dragons uh, in his camps. Impossibly early. Either that or I want them myself. So yes, Falcon is out of here, permanently banned, as were any other players that were repeatedly using this exploit. So the lesson, the moral of the story is just don't do things like this and don't blame me because they would have been turned in by somebody else. For all I know, they were turned in by somebody else. Now, also, speaking of don't blame me, this is the world's oldest troop donation request over 1,840 days. Can you guys beat this? Let me know if you can. I will tell you that I did visit this clan. This is an earlier strange but true episode i'm just trying to put the challenge back out there to you guys i would love to see somebody beat this this is five years with an open donation and uh like somebody said in the comments he waited five years and galadon gave him a goblin uh which is true but i only gave him one goblin okay i left the rest open and it's still there okay maybe i gave him two in any case he's got some goblins and he's still waiting five years later now let's check this one out here it is what you've been waiting for i did not reveal this hashtag in a previous episode i gave supercell a chance to shut down whatever was happening with this village they didn't do it so it must not be a priority so go check him out yourself there is the hashtag there is his village he looks like a town hall one or two it says he's a town hall nine you click on his icon it shows an empty village and if you click on visit, well, you're going to do this yourself. But it, like I said, this has been out there for weeks and nothing's been done. So here it goes. I visit. Well, I don't. You don't visit anything. It crashes the app. And uh, yeah, so that's the home screen. If you guys want to check that out, you can crash your own Clash of Clans. Uh, that home screen is actually a screenshot of a time that I three crowned the former lead developer of Clash Royale that worked for Supercell. That was kind of a proud moment for me. Anyway, thank you guys as always for watching. Keep sending me your strange but true villages. Tag me at Galadon Gaming on Twitter. Have a fantastic day. Be kind to other people and I'll see you again tomorrow for more full attacks. Strange but true, kind of like your age, eh? Peter, I just about had Gallagher. it with your...